there is a sixth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the sunlight of his and welcome back to the Telecom Zone. We're excited to have Joe Chiron, Product Manager with FiberOptic.com with us here today. He's going to talk to us about Ice-T. Joe, big fan of Ice Cube, not so familiar with Ice-T, so I'm looking forward to what you have to show us here today. Well, Ice-T and Ice Cube, they're similar, but they're different. Thank you for having me here today, Sonny. So I'm going to tell you about Ice-T, and Ice-T is a method that we use to inspect, clean, evaluate, and test our fiber optic connectors to make sure that they're free of dust, dirt, contamination, and also to make sure they're not damaged. So there's a couple different ways that you can go through and inspect connectors. There's a dry method and there's a wet method. So I'm gonna go over the dry methods first. So we have quick clicks, and these are, uh, they are inspection tools that are used to inspect or to clean um, the fiber optic cable assemblies, whether you have them in adapters and or connectors. And they're very simple to use. This particular one is used for a 2.5 millimeter connector end. You slide this off, you plug it in here, give it a couple pushes, and generally then you're gonna have to go through, we'll use the microscope and we'll inspect to make sure that it's clean. But I'm gonna just go through the different methods first to show that. So that's- and, and how often should you do this, Jeff? You should do this every time you mate or demate before you're going to mate something. And when you demate it, before you go to mate it again, you're supposed to clean them. And if you're not, what are the chances of something really going wrong? I mean, if it was in there and it was clean and I just pull it out, I mean, it's gonna be clean when they put it back, right? Wrong. You always assume and that's a bad word to use, but you always, always understood that the connectors are dirty. Okay. That way you leave that, that, that chance out that they are not dirty or they are dirty. Because not only can they be dirty, if you have a clean connector and a dirty connector and you connect them together or make them connect together, you can get transference and that'll transfer the dirt from the dirty connector to the clean connector. Mm. So, you so it never spreads know. like a uh, virus or germs. Exactly, precisely. So the other method that we have here is a cleaning cassette. And this is very simple. Slide it open, take your connector, and you draw it towards you. But you only go one way. You don't go back and forth. That Will way, it damage the end face if you do it that way? Or? Not so much worrying about damaging the connector end face, but more so the fact that when you're going back over, you might get the dirt back on. So you go in one direction. That way the dirt's always in the beginning and there shouldn't be any at the end. The other dry method that we have here are cleaning sticks. Now these are generally used for uh, adapters. And I don't have an adapter with me right now, but you would have a connector inside of a patch panel, say, where the connector is, you can't reach it, and you're gonna use these cleaning sticks. I should have had this already opened. There we go. So while you're opening that, is there a difference between these dry sticks compared to, let's say, just a standard Q-tip? Yes, these are wrapped lint-free. In fact, every type of cleaning product that we have here is lint-free because we want to limit the amount of dirt and dust that you can attract or put onto the connectors. So I can actually use our connector uh, quick click to kind of demonstrate. Imagine this is the connector here. You would get this in and stick it inside here and you could clean and it's a lot of twisting motion that will clean the end face of the connector. Again, you would take it off and then use your so, so you're talking about a dry method here. How does it actually clean if it's dry? So a lot of times when you're coming across connectors, uh, it's, you're, it's static electricity that may have dust attract to the end face of the connector. Uh, and just dirt being there, um, oils, not so much uh, water, or but more of a, of a liquid type that it will be wiped off. And, it will, and that's just the, the dry method standpoint um, of having that okay. come on. Awesome. So they're the dry methods that we use. Now there's there's a what you can say there's a wet and actually you can also use lint-free wipes. That's really another uh, dry method because you're not using any solvents or anything. But again, you have your connector here and you can just rub the end face of it. And that also, again, lint-free wipes, 
they will take the dirt off. Okay. So again, you, on the cassette, you showed this motion of always going one direction. Do you do the, the same yes, with the white as well? You go, and you're, you're drawing it, you're, you're going one direction. Okay. Same method. And I guess you use one wipe and then throw it away. So Correct. Yes, because again, you don't know if you don't pay attention to where the dirt was, you put it down, you pick it up, and again, you can have dirt transfer. So usually it's one wipe per clean. Right. And then so do you have a preference? It would seem to me the cassette would be a little safer because it's enclosed in that as opposed to just having, you know, open wipes where dust or something could have actually gotten onto your wipes and you may be actually transferring it to the connector. Correct. Well, it's also preference. Now, in this case, I took them out for ease of our demonstration here. Usually they're in a sealed plastic bag, so ah, that limits okay. the amount of dust and dirt that can settle on them. Uh, some technicians prefer the cassette because they're carrying around their toolbox. They don't have to worry about dust getting on there. Right. Where, what would you say that dust and contamination on connectors are a big problem in as far as the networks are concerned? I mean, is it a little problem or is it a big problem for networks? It's a very large problem. Probably 80 to 90% of your problems in telecom are due to dirt contaminations damaged end faces from not cleaning properly. So it actually, so the dust can actually damage the end face? It can, it can. So the connectors, when you're mating and demating, there is 45,000 PSI worth of pressure that is exerted on that end face. So they actually, the glass portion of the connectors, when they come together, actually flatten out. And imagine if you have dust, dirt, debris, and whatnot in there, it can get ground into that glass, and that can actually damage the connector. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a piece of equipment like an OTDR or something like that, you really want to be careful because you'll you know, damp possibly damage the in-face of that, uh, and it could lead to thousands of dollars of repair, potentially. Correct. Wow. Correct. You can do that. Yes, definitely. With that, you know, that's the one main thing uh, that you want to make sure that all your test equipment, again, you're inspecting those end faces before you connect your launch box to your OTDR. And exactly because of that, dirt can cause problems. Mm -hmm. And not only can it damage the connector end face, if it doesn't damage the connector end face, it can actually cause attenuation in your network because you have dirt over that small area in which the information travels down. Remember, we're talking about microns. Single mode fiber, it's a nine micron core. So if you get a micron worth of dirt on that nine micron, you're losing almost 10% of your view. signal right wow. off the bat. How about with new cables? I mean, it, when you're taking the cables out of the pack, do you have to worry about cleaning those? Or Again, like we alluded to in the beginning of our segment here, always think that the cables are dirty. Even though they come out of the brand new bag, there could be dirt, and mainly it's because of the dust caps. And they, you know, they're, they're called a dust cap for such that reason is they capture dust. They're a plastic material, static electricity, dust will gravitate towards these caps. Yep. So when you take it off, the best thing to do is, again, you're gonna inspect, then you're gonna clean, evaluate, and test, but always think that stuff is dirty. So Joe, if I'm looking at the in-face itself, can I look at the in-face and tell if it's clean or cracked or dirty or, or is there, a, to the naked eye, is there any way to see that? There is not, unless you have an uh, electron microscope for eyeballs, it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. uh, you really have to use your inspection probe. You gotta use the tools that are meant for you know okay. this particular operation. So I'm assuming that's what you have here yeah, so to, to, to I, so, um, We will get to that. So let me just finish. So, so now that we've gone over the dry method, is now we're going to go to the wet. Oh, that's store. right. Yes. So, so we have alcohol. That's always a good solvent to use, and also a, a connector cleaner. So uh, that's great goose. Which is a, no, it's not great goose. <laughs> it's a water-based <laughs> solvent that you can use oh. in uh, uh, your uh, uh, fiber optic. Are you sure? Realm. Are you it is. <laughs> so again, like we said, we demonstrated the dry methods. Now we're going to go with the wet methods, and generally, the wet method is used with your lint-free wipe. You would get some alcohol or your connector solvent, put it on the, uh, oh, this is closed, now it's open. Get some alcohol on there. And then again, you want to wipe in one direction. A lot of times you put this on a desktop or something, you wipe in one direction again. And after you get it wet, then you're going to go on the dry area to dry off to get that liquid off your end face and such like that. And that's one of the methods of using the, uh, the wet method. Another thing is you can use your cleaning sticks that I alluded to earlier. Again, we'll get some alcohol in here. You wet the end face of this. And again, we're gathering that this is our connector. We're gonna put it in there and we're gonna turn it around, clean it out. 
Then, just like we did with the connector, the uh, lint-free wipes, we're gonna get another cleaning stick so we can dry and get that excess liquid out of there. Otherwise, it'll evaporate and, and dry onto the end of your connector face, just like such. So that's basically the, 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 the wet method using your lint-free wipes with the alcohol and or connector cleaner or your cleaning sticks to do the same thing. So where did this all leave us? I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, we can't see any of this stuff. So now we're gonna implement our uh, inspection microscope that we have here. And this basically is, uh, it comes, there's a bunch of tips that you can put on the end of it based on the connectors you're using. In this case, we're using a 2.5 millimeter tip for our SC connector that we're gonna look at here. So I'm gonna pretend dust capture on both of these cables. We're gonna pull it out of the bag and we're getting ready to plug this into a patch panel, but we want to make sure that it is clean. So take off the first dust cap, we'll insert it in here, being careful not to hit the end of the tip, and we'll take a look at, we got to focus in here, and as you can see, we're pretty lucky here, it's very clean. So again, this proved this so, so I'm seeing a big, uh, large, uh, dark area there, and then there's a light area kind of in the middle of the circle. What, what does the dark area okay. represent? The dark area represents the cladding of the fiber. And the small dot in the middle of that is your core, and that's where the information travels around. The white area around there is actually the ceramic ferrule that you see here. Ah, okay. And that's So when we're looking at this, we really want to pay close attention to that white dot that's kind of right there in the center. Yeah, you generally want to, it's, it's the, the white dot in the center, the darker area, which is the cladding, and about 250 microns out, you want to make sure that it's free of dirt, dust, contamination. Okay. Because uh, that's the, con they call that the contact area where the two ferrules would meet. So in this case, this one side was good. Oh, great. So again, we would pretend that we're plug it into the, to the patch panel and then we'll be on our way to do the second. So I'm just going to put the dust cap over on here. Now we're going to take a look at the second side here. Okay, we're going to take a look at there. This came out of the bag and we put it in there. Um, what do we see there? Wow, what a difference. It's, it's the, this side was dirty. So you can see, you know, uh, that could be oils from hands, that could be moisture, that could be dirt. We're just going to go through and we're going to use, we're going to start with our dry method and we're going to use one of those methods to see if we can clean it. And I'm going to use the cassette because I do prefer the cassette cleaner. Again, we open it up and we draw in one direction, not to be confused with the band. And we'll insert again. Wow. And you can see that's amazing how clean that was. So you're taking a, a, a video picture of that in face. It, are you, can you save this? So that you can you... save that. Now, on our particular program here, you would you could hit there. There's a there's a saving option that'll capture that, mm -hmm. and you can lock. You know, you just you would just hit the save button, and you can see that it saved it. It made it. It gave it a file name, and then it saved it on your computer. And then you can take that picture, and then you can forward that as part of your, I guess, final package when you're. Your, your close up package, however you want to call it, uh, so you can see, hey, when I looked at these connector end faces. This is what, this is what it was it clean was clean. and it should have passed. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, is, can you, do you have a way of making that connector dirty for me again? I can do that and I can just, like I said before, I can touch my hands just like that and then I can go through and I can take a look at it again. And up, oh, oh, we have to. So it's still the image from the yeah, last picture. Yeah, it, it is, and I got to remember how to get out of that. All right, that's not it. Okay, all right. All right, there it is. So I have to hit the screen. Okay. So Joe, I mean, I, I'm not a technician in the field, but I've talked to a number of technicians, and every technician knows if I take that connector right now and wipe it on my shirt, that it's going to be just as clean as this wet and dry method. So I can I uh, see your connector here for a you second? You can do that. All right. So. Obviously, I don't have my good work shirt on here for this, but we will, there we go. <laughs> time here. Let's see how well that uh, that does on cleaning that, that boy up. It does a little bit, but you can see now what you only now you went through. One of the one things that you can see with those parallel lines like that uh -huh. all across it, that's an indication of moisture, oil or something. Yeah, like I that. probably have a little bit of lint from but my shirt added, on exactly, there too. You've added some lint onto mm -hmm. your thing. Onto your onto your connector end face. Now you can feel that that's far enough away from the center 
That's fine. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do a little test from before? So this is still, this end's still dirty, okay? This was the clean end. We're going to shove that in there. We're going to take a look at him. So he's still relatively clean. Uh, geez, I don't have an adapter. Hmm, I think I do have an adapter in my little case here. Well, while we're waiting for Joe, again, if you like what you're seeing here today, please look at the link below and like us. Right now we have three likes. Thanks, kids. I appreciate that. Uh, and please send us your suggestions for any other videos that you may would like to see, uh, you know, for future ep episodes of the Telecom Zone. Okay, so we're going to, this is the clean side. We're going to mate it with the dirty side. Take the dirty side out. And let's just take a look at the clean side to see what, if anything occurred here. And what do you see? Wow. That's it's an example of transference. transference. Okay. And that's what you're worried about if you only clean one side versus cleaning both sides. Awesome. Great. So, Joe, as far as pricing is concerned, what do, what is uh, the pricing for a, a, a scope go for? So, there's there's features that come with the scope. Now, this particular scope here, the Pro v VIP uh, 45 scope, I believe is retails for about fifteen hundred dollars. And what you get with that is you get an inspection probe. You get four tips on the end, and these four tips will inspect your UPC connectors. There's also APC tips that you can get to be able to inspect the other types of connectors that are out there. Um, and they may run, they range anywhere between $75 to $400 if you're like working on an MTP connector end phase. Say at the, at the max, maybe $1,700, $1,800, uh, you have a tool that you can inspect all end faces, uh, also inspect your equipment end faces, your, like your OTDR ports. Bulkheads? Like a, you can do bulkheads as well as connect cable assemblies. So, uh, and again, like I said, said before, 80 to 90% of a lot of the problems are caused by dirt contamination and just, you know, end faces that are not in proper shape. And, you know, you can, you know, that's like your first line of defense uh, uh, to solve some of your fiber optic uh, issues that you have in the field when you're networking, you know, taking a look at your network. Awesome. Well, Joe, thank you very much for coming by today. I've uh, enjoyed talking to you. I've certainly learned a lot. Again, thank you for joining the Telecom Zone. If there's anything out there that you guys would like for us to cover, please let us know. And we look forward to seeing you on next week's episode. Have a great day. Thank you. Take care. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Telecom Zone. I certainly learned a lot about visual inspection, and hopefully you did as well. Please keep us in mind for all of your fiber optic product needs, training, or rental equipment. Check out the website. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of the Telecom Zone. Have a great day, everyone.